Yo, what's happening guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Days Gone. So, here's a question and I'm being serious. Do you guys want me to cut out the boring combat and the boring side missions? Because there is a lot of story to cover and your boy is hella, hella behind. I mean, everyone else that's playing this game, they finished it. And I'm sitting here at like the start. <laughs> I am slow. You know how people say to stop and enjoy the, the smell of flowers or whatever it is. Enjoy the roses, what was it? Stop and smell the flowers, that's it. Well, unfortunately I took that a little bit too literal and I spend infinite amount of time on the most insignificant stuff. There's a huge story to explore and I should probably stop waffling on and killing random zombies so I might cut a lot of the boring crap out. Just so you know. Oh, it's her. Psycho girl. How you doing, kid? They won't let me leave. Who won't? <laughs> Why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Are you good? Okay. Man, is Granny touching you? Okay. You could tell me. You could tell me. Is Tucker touching you in places we're not going to mention? Is that is that what's happening? I know Tucker seems like a callous, old crazy grandma, but I don't know, man. Maybe she's got a soft spot for kids in a very weird, gross way. You can tell me, okay? If she did anything to you, I will beat her ass. Speaking of Tucker, I think we actually have a mission we can go on. Um, Cause I really don't see any story modes right now or story uh, uh, missions we can go uh, check out. Yeah, there's side stuff, but no actual storylines. What up, you? Tucker? How's it hanging, you crusty old granny? Deep. You ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp hell? yesterday Get to turn to in work. some bounties, have a Come few on. drinks. Seems work. like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke. And a woman no, 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 to don't. death, I'm Bowman and Hewitt. Her it. face was so smashed in you couldn't tell it was her. Listen to the background. <laughs> right? Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is and uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. Mm-hmm. Now what's in it for me? How about a shiny new gun? Or a tank with spikes on the front? Something to make it worth my time. I mean, I go out there and you don't know if I'll come back. Those zombies are crazy. I like how she was talking about someone being beaten to death and in the background we could hear your uh, workers, uh-huh, more like slaves, being whooped. Was it you? Were you getting the ass pounding? No? Yeah, that's right, you cut that wood. That's right, you cut that wood. Okay. Uh, let me hop on the bike and we will go find this guy named Limbo. That is a crazy name. People in this game have some, uh, pretty unique names. I mean, Deacon's kind of normal, but, you know, even Tucker's kind of weird. What grandmother is named Tucker? Tucker's like a, an old crusty, uh, farmer's name. I, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Um, maybe it's me. I'm weird. I have the weird name. What am I talking about? Okay, so, uh, we need to go find this Limbo character. Where could he be? Uh, it's not on the map, actually. Maybe if I leave this wonderful paradise Tucker's made. Oh yeah, this is my ideal place to live. You get some food, protection from zombies, and nightly beatings. It sounds like home to me, mm-hmm. Tucker psycho, oh. Oh, and, and I forgot to mention, the most beautiful part about living here, the smell. It's like being on a tropical beach. Mmm. Yeah. God damn, that, that smell is just mmm, so beautiful. I wish they could bottle it and turn it into some type of perfume. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do they have a park? Bruh. They've got a park in a zombie apocalypse. Oh, mom and dad, can we go to the park and see the guards with the AK 47? Yeah. Can we do that and go to the zombie burning pile? Please, dad, please. All right, son, but you gotta. Eat your zombie foot before that happens. I have no idea. Okay, I'm gonna go to the objective. I will be right back. Okay, so I actually managed to find it. It was on the map the whole time. Uh, You've gotta go after him now. They're getting away. Go after who, Tuck? Slow down. It's Roach. It's Roach. You know him. He used to ride with Leon and Alvarez. But I trusted him. Oh, God damn it, Tuck. You shouldn't have. No, he 
He's taking the rest of our drugs and headed north. My boys lost him somewhere around Marion Falls. All right, I'll see if I can track it down. Okay then, well, like I was saying, I found it. It was right on the map. I have a terrible time reading maps, so I, I just skimmed right over it, but uh, here we are, or glossed over it, whatever the word is. Bounty targets. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am a bounty oh, hunter. Waters. God damn it. They were waiting for me. Yeah, that's right, boys. I'm a bounty hunter. Hey, oh, you've got a little sniper. Like that's so cute. Calling the place home like nothing ever happened. You said his face was scarred, so uh, I mean, more, please. What else can you tell me? He's not moving. He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron deacon, St. John. And I want it covered in what's left of the son of a bitch's face. Damn! Uh, St. John out. Yo, Tucker, calm down! I told you Granny's got a wild side! Check this out, it's my new ability. Pop! Woo! Headshot, baby! Okay, here we go. Yeah, what's up, what's up? You just got capped by a 22. How does it feel to be that sad? That's right, you got real guns and I got a 22. Okay, all right. Can you guys calm down? I'm really uh new to this bounty hunter shit. I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's right. Slow, slow motion. Bop. Ooh. All right, listen, guys, calm down. Seriously, what what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna shoot me? That does nothing. Oh my God, where'd you come from, bitch? Mm. Right in the pelvis. Bop. Kneecap. What's good, man? What's good? You thought you could shoot me? I'm a god. All right, you know what, boys? It's time to break out the sniper. What? I'm right here, bro. Hey man, I'm the guy in the denim that's standing in the open. Really? It's a sniper rifle. Boom! Headshot! Now that's gotta hurt. You are gonna have to pay so much for new teeth. What? Boom! There we go. Now this thing is deadly. I like it. Oh! Later! Anyone else? Who wants to try their luck, huh? Who? Okay. Oh, okay. Several people. Slow motion. Bop! Right through the forehead. Serious question. Who here has a large nose? Because, uh, I'm not a plastic surgeon, but I can fix those types of problems. You see, this guy has, uh, a, a hole in his body now, and another hole, uh, wh which means that his blood will flow better. See, I'm like a doctor. With with bullets, a, a doctor bullet. No, a bullet doctor. Yeah, new term, just coined it. I am the bullet doctor. What's good, boys? This? No, R wrong gun. There we go. I like my 22. It's kind of pathetic and puny, but it's also fun. Just loot your body. Thank you so much. Too bad you guys tried to fight the best. You can't win when you fight the best. Okay, now what coward is up here? You guys want to come out and play? Hello? I'm definitely not a bounty hunter. And I promise not to skin your face and wear it. I'm a bad shot, but you still died. You know what's incredible is that these guys had no clue I was coming. Still when, by. Oh! When clearly I just killed all of their friends. You know what, I'm gonna have fun with you guys. I'm gonna have fun. Here, catch that. Burn you asshole. Yeah, burn you asshole! Now we can do this the easy way, where I shoot you in the head, or the hard way, where you go out smoking, and I cook you up, have a nice little human steak, that's disgusting. You know what, here. You thirsty man, have a little gas. Stop, drop, and roll! Stop, stop, stop. These guys, they're really not too bright. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? You okay, Deacon? I know it can be scarring to see a man burn to death. Oh wait, you enjoyed it? Oh shit, yo, Deacon is messed up. Okay, uh, these fools just, no match, no match. Okay, uh, we're supposed to try and find a tire iron. Iron? Iron. I've always said the word iron as iron since I was a kid because I grew up in the South and people said iron. Anybody got any iron? Uh, okay, so wait a minute, where is this? Oh, return the tire iron as proof as a kill, uh, of a kill. I can't read, okay, got it. Any juicy loot that I could pick up along the way? 
I would really love to get like a holographic scope or a red dot or something on my sniper, Good. my 22, because uh, it's ki it's kind of hard to use. I'm not gonna lie. And also, Deacon has a shaking problem. Like, look at this. No, 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 ne never mind. That that's me. I've got a fat thumb. It's hard to aim with this gun. That's what I'm trying to say. And a scope would go a long way to make that easy. Ooh, fuel. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, oh, and a body over here. Let me just loot this guy up. I'm gonna loot these bodies and see if I can find any resources and then we'll go to Tucker and turn in the tire iron and hopefully we can get something out of it, you know, like maybe some new guns. I mean, I, I, I know I said the 22 was cool and all, but it's just, it's not gonna cut it. It's a zombie apocalypse. I think I deserve to get something a little bit better than a dinky 22. Maybe like a, I don't know, something reasonable. A minigun or a jet. A jet with the tank attached to it. With nukes. That's reasonable, right? Neek. There. Booze man. I figured I'd see if I remember how to make anything. Stop by when you can. I think you'll like it. Oh, Boozer, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Need some what? What did Boozer make? Man, poor Boozer. I've said this before, but I feel so bad. We're out here having all these fun experiences and missions and... Killing zombies and even murdering humans. And then poor Booze Man, you know, he's got those big guns, big shoulders and muscles. He's used to being out in the world struggling and working out. He's just laid up in bed, probably got a fever. His arm's burned up. He can't even masturbate. I mean, his, his right arm got burned off. I mean, my man is struggling. Poor Booze Man. Okay, we are almost there. I swear, if I can't get a gun, a new gun in this episode, I am going to be heated. This 22 is whack. Also, I think we need to change the paint job. At first it looked kind of good, but now I, I don't think hot pink is gonna cut it. We need something a little bit more menacing and stealthy, like a matte black with black rims and a black outfit. Yeah, we need a black denim jacket, black jeans, black helmet, blacked out guns, everything black. Black is better. It's stealthy, it's cool, sexy. And we take a right on the giant pile of burning zombies. Ah, smells delicious here. It's a drifter. Open up. That drifter? You know, I have a name. You guys could call me Deacon. I'm sure you know my name. I mean, I'm single-handedly taking out all of the zombies in the area. Just saying. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, crazy grandma. Grandma? Where did she go? Oh, there you are. Hey, Tucker. Damn, you've been sitting here this whole time? You know you're gonna get hemorrhoids doing that? That's not possible. I don't know. What's up? I got that tire iron. That's a hard word to say for me. You find that son of a bitch? Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Ah, uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. <laughs> you know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits. Aw, oh, shit! Thank you so much, Psycho Granny. You know, I would appreciate a new gun. You know, you could tell your boy, since you're apparently in charge. Again, I don't see how an old granny is in charge of all these, you know, young, healthy people, but I digress. If you could tell your man to not put all of the best guns behind a level wall, I would appreciate that as if I need to prove my metal to buy a new gun. That, that is ridiculous. I have never heard of such bullshit in my entire life. What's up, cowboy? What are you doing? Oh, up? I am doing fantastic. How am I still level one? Really? All I wanna do is buy this gun. It looks so goddamn sexy. That's all I want. I have enough for it, in fact. I, well, almost enough. No, I do have enough. I have 3,900 credits, but level three is required. Really? This is not like the US what during the non-zombie apocalypse, okay? You don't need to run okay, a background sure. check for me to buy a gun. Do you want me to kill zombies or not? Because if not, well then, you know, if they break through the gate one day, I'm not coming to save your stinking asses. Just saying. Okay, uh, what do we have now? I think we have to go to Booze Man? Oh, wait, what? We have another bounty hunter story. Okay, well, I mean, I, I, I guess I'm down. I'm, I'm always here. Ready to kill some bad guys, you know? Killing zombies isn't quite as fun. They don't really put up much of a fight. 
They make a lot of noise, but it's not the same thing, you know? Killing bad guys is very rewarding. You throw some Molotovs at them, they start screaming and wailing, and they talk yeah, mad okay. shit. Oh, we're gonna kill you! We're gonna beat you up! And then, you know, you throw a Molotov, they start burning up, and they squeal like a pig. It's a lot more fun than zombies. I'm sadistic, I know. I'll be right back. St. John, Tucker to Deacon St. John, we got a job for you. Hey, Tucker. Okay, I'll stop by when I can. Deacon out. Well, I, I, I mean, Tucker, I'm, I am currently on a job for you right now, am I not? This is what I mean. They won't let me buy a new gun, but they've got endless amounts of work. And they give me their credits. Your credits aren't good unless I can spin them. Okay, Tucker, what's up? Oh, man, this game is ridiculous. Okay, we are almost here. I am so ready to skin some faces. What's up? You guys think you're better than me? You're gonna mosey into my town and take over? That is not how this works. Okay. Uh. Huh? What am I doing? The rest of our drugs. Locate Roach. Okay. Hello? Is there someone named Roach? And or a real Roach here? Oh, what is that? It's empty. Huh. Okay. Well, this was probably a meth lab. It looks like it got exploded, right? It burned down, so obviously somebody was whipping up some drugs in here. Could this be it? That would be a fence post. Aha! Yes. I definitely want a fence post over my machete. What? Have I missed something? I have a feeling the game just glitched out on me. That's definitely what happened. It has a bad habit of doing that. Okay, let me reload. Okay, um, I think I know what the problem is. I've actually had to redo this several times. For whatever reason, this game has a weird glitch in it where if you approach something in a wrong way, you gotta take a closer look. There's a pop-up that says your bike needs fuel and it glitches out the objective. I don't know why, but it does. So hopefully if I sneak up, bike needs fuel and now it's gone. What a weird glitch, God damn it. Well, that means I literally have to go find fuel for my bike in order to get this to even work. I know, right? You gotta love this game. <laughs> okay, observe. I fill the bike up, right? I, I know this is the weird, weird glitch to have, but there we go, bike is full, and then now, no prompt. Okay, let's take a look around. There we go, and then now I can pick it up. The weirdest glitch any games ever have. I don't get it. All right, what have we got? There you are. Tucker, I spotted him, and it looks like he was, uh, like he was waiting for someone. Deke, don't let him get away. I want him alive. Uh, what the shit, Tucker, alive? More shit has come up missing. I need him to tell us where he's stashed it. Okay, shit. All right, I'll see what I can do. Oh, come on, Roach. Where do you think you're going, huh? Still back here, you son of a bitch! Bro, he is miles away. He can't hear oh, you. All right, let's do this the hard way. Yeah! Let's do it the hard way! Roach, slow down. I just want to talk. Yeah, all right. I want to set you to talk. Yeah, God damn it! if I wanted to kill you, you'd be- Oh my God, stop with the pop-ups! Dead! Uh, up your ass. I know what you've done to Leon and Alvarez. But I'm gonna wait, Deke. Bop! There we go! <laughs> I just took one of your mans out, boy! That's right! Oh, are you late for something? Where are you going? Come here, bitch! Uh, hell with you, St. John. <laughs> I took one of your boys out. You can't get away from me! I'm gonna shoot your tire. That is the most bulletproof tire I have ever seen him. Oh! Okay, now who's that? That is not fair. You guys can't team up like that. There's only one of me and there's a thousand of you. Potentially, I, I have no idea. Guys, please, listen. Shooting a man in the back, that's unfair. See, I'm shooting his tire. Big difference. Look at this guy, he thinks he can run. I've got the fastest bike in the game. I've got the pink crotch rocket. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a radio chatter for a minute there. Nope! Oh! Oh, that's what you get! Kamikaze, god damn! This dude hasn't learned his lesson. Come here. Really? I'm about to tickle your butt with a bullet. I got you, son 
I'm a bitch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Damn. That was the slowest bike pursuit hey, ever. Rich, how's it going, buddy? See? Told you I wasn't gonna kill you. Just oh, your boy. No. Oh, I, I didn't do nothing. Oh. Oh. Nah, that's not what Tucker says. I guess when Leon and Alvarez took off with the camp's drugs, they forgot to cut you in. Is that about it? <laughs> Deep. No. No, no, no. Clue me in on what you're thinking, man. I, I want to understand. You you took what was left while the old woman wasn't looking? Oh, Deke, uh, I got nothing on me, okay? Search me. Uh. Oh, I'm no, not falling I'm for that. It's not my job. I'm going to leave that up to Alki. Search me. This dude's just nasty. He wants me to be filling all over his body. Bro, I'm not about that life, all right? I'm not that hey, desperate yet. I got him. Deke, uh, Mark down these don't coordinates leave me here. and have Alki I heard what you did to Leon, okay, Deke? I, I, please, man. Come on, please! Leon! He's alive? Did he have my drugs? Deke, no! Please, please, we well, rode yeah, together, remember? Alive, but you and me, we were friends! Way, okay, you better hurry up and get off his ass. St. John out. Please, please! Hey, uh, please, man. I don't want to die. Uh, yeah, don't leave me out here. Crazy question. On, Any idea where I can oh, find damn a you. Egg? God damn you! What the hell for? The kid I brought in, just trying to find a way to cheer her up. She mentioned having one. Shit, I don't know. Check the gift shop at Belknap Crater. I don't know, maybe Miriam Forks. Yeah, okay, thanks. Oh, what's the matter, man? Crying like a little bitch, huh? Wah, wah, you're gonna die. And what I did to Leon, I was merciful. I put a 9 mil into his brain, okay? He instantly went lights out. Now you, I hope you get fed to the zombies and you slowly die. They start nibbling on the toes and work their way up, you know? Next thing you know, man man parts, gone. And then the nipples, and then you're dead, you know? So I hope that happens, you little bitch. Okay, where do we have to go now? Story mission, you're safe now, okay? Fair enough, let's go do that. You got destroyed, my god. One dude, kamikaze, another guy shot his tire, he exploded. And this guy, I think I shot his tire as well, and he went flying through the air doing somersaults into a face plant of death. I'm surprised you can even talk. I wish he had broken his jawbone, honestly. All right, I will be back in a few seconds. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but again, I'm gonna cut the boring parts out, so I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right, your boy has arrived. No, 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 no. The last thing I need is you to greet me. Can you, can you stop? Okay, he wants to learn the hard way. Mm. Okay. You like that? Yeah, zombie bitch. These guys just do not learn. Okay, so uh, I bought you something. I guess we're looking for a gift for the crazy girl we rescued. Something called a Thunder Rock, Thunder Egg. I, I don't know what it was, some weird name. But where? Oh, is this it? Oh, that's what those are. I always wondered what they were. Okay, so we have one of those. Um, man, Deacon is a nice guy. Like, I know he seems rough around the edges, but the fact that he would go all this way just to get that girl a present, something she remembered from when her dad was around. What a nice guy. What a sweet, nice guy. I know if it was me, I'd be looking out for number one, and everyone else would not matter. I mean, maybe I'd low-key suck up to someone to get some guns, but then I'd dump their ass and be out. But not Deacon. Deacon's a nice guy. You know what I just realized? This motorcycle has the worst MPG of any bike in existence. Don't motorcycles normally get like 10 trillion miles to the gallon? This thing must be running on jet fuel for like a spaceship because I, I ride like three miles and I need a fill up. What? Seriously? The fastest, craziest bike on Earth does not need to top up that often. There is something wrong with this bike. Hey, what's up? It's the Drifter. Yeah, just the normal Drifter, nothing special. Just a normal old Drifter. Definitely not Deacon the Badass that saves you guys from dying. No, no. Oh, uh, when I'm done, this entire area is gonna be mine. Conquest! I'll own the lot. Hello, hello? Psycho girl? You here? I got you a rock! Lisa, I... Go away. I brought you something. I got you a rock! 
That's beautiful. Will you take me with you? Take me back to Marion Forks. Aww. Look, I, I can't because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Poor girl. <laughs> I like how he's covered in blood. My man, you need a shower. I bet you stink. I mean, he's been out there <laughs> chopping zombie heads off. Honestly, it's a wonder that you can even make out what type of clothing you're wearing. After all that blood splattering and killings and whatnot, honestly, you're probably just a sticky red mess of dried blood. You should probably take a shower, get a can of Axe deodorant. You know, I'm just saying. Man, poor girl. I feel so bad for her. Although, that does say a lot about Deacon's character. If someone that barely knows him, a little girl that just came out of, I don't know what she was in. She was like living in a house in this like denial state that the zombie apocalypse happened and that her parents were gonna magically show up. And then she's willing to trust this guy. I mean, he, he's a nice guy, but looking at him, he's kind of rough around the edges. He's got tattoos, a beard, blood on his shirt. I mean, honestly, he looks like a badass, but still. And she mentioned she had to get up early. I can tell she's not at all happy being here. You know, Tucker makes this camp out to be not a paradise, but a safe place to work and live. But I mean, why do you guys need guns? You know, they, there's guards here with guns to make sure people work. To me, that doesn't sound like a community trying to survive the zombie apocalypse. It sounds like a slave master grandma that's making everyone work around the clock just to protect them from zombies. Hmm. Yeah, just, it doesn't seem like a healthy relationship to me, you know? If you're gonna be a community, you should be nice to people. You know what I'm saying? Move, bitch! Okay, so I need to top up once again because literally I'm almost out of gas. I swear, you know what's happening? Every time I park my bike, zombies low key run up and siphon my gas. Zombies aren't out for blood, they're out for gas. What's up, man? I need some gas for my yes. bike. 222 credits. Do you guys see this? Really? Stuff's getting scarce. I mean, Check back. yeah, it, it's getting scarce, but how does this make sense? A gun's 3,000 credits, gas for a tiny bike is $200. You, got, you guys have some insane inflation. What is happening? $200 for gas or 3,000 for a gun. How does that make any sense? I would hate to see how much a ham sandwich was around here. Good God. Uh, wait, can you not, can you not stretch next to my bike? Huh, ugly boy? Move it. Move it, bitch. Okay, what do we have now? New objective. Um, okay, I remember, no! It's about his wife. Man, I hope she's okay. I mean, obviously she's not going to be okay, okay, but if she's a zombie or a freaker and doing? there's a cure yeah, somewhere yeah. along the line, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Maybe he, he could bring her back? I, I don't know. Okay, here we are. Go ahead and prepare for the tears to flow, the emotions to roll in. I'm sure whatever memory he's gonna flash back to with his wife is going to be adorable and cute and also quite sad because I, I don't know, man. I just feel so bad for Deacon. All right, your boy's here. What up, what up, let me in. Oh, yo, Booze Man, what's up? I forgot, Booze Man's up here. Wait, am I in the right place? Um, yeah, I am, okay, cool. So we get to do two things. See Booze Man, which I haven't seen Booze Man in a minute. I am very happy to hang out with my psycho ball-headed friend with a tattoo on his scalp, and then also to uh, have a flashback. At least I would assume so. Hey, what up, what up, Booze Man? How's it hanging, bruv? I'm just gonna stand there in the doorway until it's daytime because apparently cutscenes only happen at day. Don't mind me. Oh, I just peed myself, it's been so long. Weird hang up. Why couldn't the cutscene happen at night? Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Oh, yep. he is sweating. Oh, booze, man. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. 
Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Can okay, you not? Stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, think. Everyone's gotta act tough. Just admit you're sick, you know? Oh, here we go, flashback. See, if it were me and there was a chance of getting infected, I would tie off my arm and then drain the blood from the limb. I don't know if that would work or not, but I would imagine that would minimize your chance of getting infected by whatever virus started the zombie apocalypse, right? I mean, I hope he's not turning. Maybe he just has a fever because of infection or something. I, I don't know. You would think we have better medical supplies than some toilet paper and I don't even know what they used for, you know, antiseptic. Maybe alcohol, a little Jack Daniels on that. <laughs> I have no idea. Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh. Yep, found it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you could call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. And blood apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. Wow! <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> Well, now isn't that just so, cute? Uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Mm-hmm. So she does work for Nero, and they did accidentally start the zombie apocalypse with plants. Unless she hey, was, was involved. Here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. Wait, what? What? So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. <laughs> Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you. Being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I, I can tell. The MC's got a couple of brothers. One fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender, you, you want me to pick lavender? Yep, and bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. 
I love Deacon's personality. It's so sassy, but charming at the same time. Unfortunately, people like myself only have flat, boring personalities that are borderline cringy. If only I could be as cool as Deacon. Uh, of course, that could probably start by buying a motorcycle and getting tattoos and a beard. You get the idea. By the way, can we just take a moment to appreciate how goddamn beautiful this game is? Look at it. We've got the lake. We've got the almost Arizona landscape. You've got the mountains. I don't know if it's Arizona, but it looks like something, you know? Like maybe near the Grand Canyon, rocky, rough with trees, and you, you can see the giant mountain covered in snow in the background. So beautiful, oh my god. I wasn't paying attention initially to this game, so I don't exactly know where this takes place. I, I know I should, but I'm bad at retaining information, so yeah, I don't, but my goodness, this looks gorgeous. Nature can come up with some beautiful canvases. What is this? Uh... I was kind of hoping it would say where we are, but it doesn't. Okay, so we need to find lavender, right? Of course. Now, if you were lavender, where would you be? Oh, I see one right here. Well, actually several. Let me just pick that and then smoke it. That would probably uh, be terrible. One. Good for you. I wonder what smoking lavender would be like. <laughs> That'd be terrible. Oh man, oh, I see more lavender. In fact, I see all the lavender we need right here. I have this bad feeling. This one? Yep, keep going. That she inadvertently started the zombie apocalypse with her research. I don't know how that would be possible, but I don't know. Somehow I feel like that's a thing. Last one. Great, bring him here. Like, she's the one experimenting with plants, right? I have no idea how it started. We'll find out. Oh. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Well, if it's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey. Oh, 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 oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're going to smoke later? <laughs> no, but this is the one we're going to drink. Deacon. <laughs> I'm going to just kill our herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> good memories, good memories. Just him and his future wife, I don't know why I'm doing air quotes here, having fun. That's nice. It's kind of sad because he went from this innocent guy that was, you know, in a bike gang and just enjoying life to... Someone that's literally a bounty hunter and has to kill endless amounts of zombies to stay alive. You know, that, that's like, that's a really crazy jump. Although I can believe a guy on a motorcycle would make that type of jump over, say, someone like me, a gamer. I would be screwed in a zombie apocalypse. All right, so we're learning a little bit more about Deacon and his life before the apocalypse. He had a good thing going for him. All right, now listen, booze man. We gotta talk, homie, okay? It's really hard to find skinheads with tattoos that are as cool and as nice as you, okay? So what I need you to do is, um, I don't know what you would actually do in this case, because again, I have no idea how to survive, but you're pouring sweat, you're starting to get angry and agitated. How about you walk around, get some fresh air, maybe, you know, put some alcohol on your wounds. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. You know, worst case scenario, I have to cut your arm off, okay? So don't be mad at me. You'll have to learn to beat it with the left arm, know what I'm saying? All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to see how all of this unfolds. I wanna learn the backstory of the zombie apocalypse. I feel like we're not done with O'Brien yet, so there's probably gonna be something there. And I have this really bad feeling of impending doom for the homie Booze Man. I mean, every time we see this guy, he's in poor and poor health. God damn it, Booze Man. If you die on me, I am going to be pissed. I know this game has to play with our heartstrings in some way, and I hope it's... Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Which one would I prefer? Him getting his wife back or Booze Man dying? No, that, that's wrong. No. Would I rather have Booze Man or his wife? I don't know. His wife seems really charming, so I would hate to see her be permanently gone, but, I mean, she's dead right now, so who knows. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.